Jim Conway, a regional realty group. I'm in front of <clears throat> 208 Willow Boulevard in Willow Springs, Illinois, taping a video. <clears throat> I'm going to start with the outside. There's our entrance showing the house number. Next door neighbor. <clears throat> Next door neighbor. Across the street. <clears throat> Street View East. The orange building on the right is the City Hall. Just past that is a small commuter station. There's the view in the other direction. Now I'm going to walk around the building. The HOA is responsible for exterior maintenance, lawn care, trees, etc. Um, here's a view of the building. It's hard to see the fronts because of all the trees. Here's a side view of our building. This is the road that goes back to our the rear of our building and our parking. It's a small playground, probably about 150, 200 feet from our unit. Another view of the side. Here's a view of the back of our building and the building next door. The, this is our unit here. The field service put the trash cans back out again, which they shouldn't. Um, I put them back in once, but the uh, it's not trash day here. But this is our garage. There's this stuff they stuck outside. This is our central air unit. I had it looked at. It's original. It's 21 years old. It's undersized for our, our unit. It's also got too many holes in the system to charge it up. So the contractor said it's not worth fixing. Should be replaced. You can see with some of our neighbors are putting in bigger units as they replace them here. Um, but he said these were really too small for the square footage, which I believe is somewhere around 1,700 square feet. Um, that's our balcony deck. Uh, that's the responsibility of the HOA. In fact, they just power washed it. I believe they're going to be staining it shortly. So continuing on. In a large building just to the west of us. Those are condos on the upper floors. On the front, street front, there's there's an insurance agent and a dry cleaners. Most of the storefronts are empty and then more condos and offices. Somebody is building like three or four townhouses about a block away. It's on a small lot. This is the other side of our building. Let me step back for a moment. You better look. This is the rear of our building. You can see our water heater in front of our unit. The driveway. And continuing back on to the front, we get a better view of across the street and a little bit better view of our side. There's the others, the building across the street from us, street view. We do have a median and then here is our side of the street. They do allow street parking here. I'm going to proceed into the unit. I don't know if the HOA is going to do it. Most of ours is the worst, but most of the neighbors, it, it needs power washing the sidewalks and the, the steps and all. 
Uh, it looks like they recently print painted the trim. Uh, the, the Cook County Sheriff uses a battering ram. They put a dent in the door so it's no longer usable. We're gonna have to replace it. Plus they shattered the frame. Um, all the neighbors now have black doors, so I assume we're gonna have to paint ours black when it comes to that. Um, even if we don't rehab it, we're probably gonna get pressure from the HOA due to it having a hasp on it now and not being the right color. Here's the damage they did on the inside and some of the broken trim. I'm in the uh, entryway, which is kind of narrow. It's just the landing where you, there's the other side. You either go up or you go down. I'm gonna go down because there's basically one room in the garage down here and then a tiny laundry area in the HVAC closet. Here's the HVAC and water heater. These aren't original, they're newer, so they don't appear to leak. Uh, missing detector. By the way, only two of the upstairs bedrooms have built-in detectors, and there's no temporaries or anything else here. So we're real short on those. Here's the other side. It's a small laundry area. Probably should just get rid of the washer and dryer. There's the door into the garage. This is the downstairs room. You'll see in some of the comps, they'll, comps, they'll call this a, a fourth bedroom. I mean, technically it's part underground, so it's not above grade living space. It's kind of an English basement, but you could put a closet there and then I guess call it a fourth bedroom. But this is the, the lower level room. Circuit breakers. The can lighting here is all yellowed. A lot of them don't work. It's probably just bulbs, but the lids in the can should all be replaced. It needs a paint job. And now for the garage. Garage, two car garage. There's a 2017 Honda CRV that was left behind. It, it was in an accident. I, I don't think it was total, but maybe it got hit just right. But actually, probably has some value. Um, you can see everything's loose on the front. Um, somebody at some point hit the wall a couple times. It's just drywall damage. But uh, part of the cover's missing on the uh, door, door opener. By the way, it works, but it's it's unplugged and I can't reach the plug. I have had it up and down previously, and I have I'll show you in a moment. I have the uh, overhead door padlocked, but there's oil stains. And this, these panels on the inside of the door are really filthy. I would paint the floor, paint the walls after fixing the drywall, get that missing cover for the electric door opener, and scrub these down as best we can. That would really make this look a lot better. Here's my pan lock. Heading up to the uh, main floor, which is actually a second floor. The kitchen, living room, dining room floor is actually a second floor. Here's the top of the landing. There's holes in the wall. Dated lighting. Dated in, in, inexpensive lighting. View down of the entryway. And there's a half bath on this side. A little bit of drywall damage. Um, dated tile. Here's a here's a nice crack. All the tile areas. You've also got loose tiles, probably from the toilet. I would replace it all with a PV. <coughs> and the carpeted areas re-carpet. But this is rusted, cracked toilet tank. The toilets are old and really, really filthy. Missing a towel bar there, too. Dated light. So that's the half bath. Now we're heading for the kitchen. 
the cabinets aren't too bad. You know, on a scale of five, they're like a grade two. They're not the bottom of the thing, but there are some scratches and wear. Um, um, doesn't have granite. My, uh, I'll take a closer look. At it. This is really filthy here, but you have nicks and scratches. <clears throat> My lead contractor says he could make them look passable. Of course, if we did a full rehab here, they then they're the one thing we really didn't do. So it looks, you know, it stands out more. A dishwasher is old and there's a bunch of pile of parts in there. I would get rid of that. Here's our sink. Faucet works. It's missing a piece. He's underneath. Get rid of the blinds, fill the holes. A lot of dents in this fridge. I would just get rid of it plus it's really filthy. Smells too, even though it's in. Um, <clears throat> the can lighting is in here is like the rest of the house. It's old and yellowed. Needs to be updated. Needs a, I would replace the stove in the uh, and this the uh, I don't there it is. And now there's two of them working. Oh, I got three. First, I can only get one to work. But the gas is on here. So this is the the kitchen area. Here's the kitchen pantry closet. Now we're entering the dining dine, dining area. I'm gonna step across and pan it. it hit, right next to the kitchen, dated lighting. Got some old moisture damage on the ceiling. Also over here in the kitchen. Does not appear to be active. It's probably from a tub overflow or a toilet. Another missing <clears throat> detector. Has a two-sided fireplace that faces both the dining room and the uh, living room. A hole in the screen. And then this <clears throat> bronze trim on the top is missing on the one side. You can see it on the other side. That's missing. A little bit of damage on the corners. So this is the dining room. There's also some cracks in the tiles here too. And in the kitchen. Again, I would suggest Pergo. <clears throat> the contractor suggests that if we replace everything here, we put like a little ledge where someone can eat, put three stools in, somebody can eat <clears throat> on the edge there. Now going into the uh, living room. Start with the balcony. The door seals are bad on both of the sliding doors. They need to be, re the doors need to be replaced. Here's our balcony <coughs> that they just power washed. You can see there's a lot of cracked wood. I don't know if they're replacing it or not, but that's the HOA's job. I would remove all the blinds, fill the holes. Another dated looking light. We gotta get the speaker wear holes covered and it can be painted over. <clears throat> Fireplace needs a thorough clear, cleaning. Same on the other side with wires. A little tear here. The uh, vents are almost universally really filthy here. Uh, I would, I would uh, recommend all new vent covers throughout and also all new light uh, switch and outlet covers because <clears throat> they're going to look really yellowed. 
<clears throat> not just the covers, but the outlets themselves too, because the, the actual plugins look are yellowed. They really stand out if you're rehab. So <clears throat> now I'm heading hand, upstairs. Worn out carpet, got a hole right above my head. They probably hit this moving out. Put a piece of furniture. Carpet is shot. Little dent. Trim all needs paint. This railing just needs a slight adjustment. It's just slightly loose. <clears throat> Dated light. Dated light missing its cover, missing detector. That's missing its cover. I'm going to go into the master bedroom first. Do a pan. That's missing. Missing cover. A little bit of drywall damage. Dated light. Missing its globe. <clears throat> I'd remove the blinds and fill the holes. The screens up here, the neighbor said that he had a dog. There's holes in a number of the screens. Holes there, holes in both of them. This vent cover is bent. And then here is the master closet. Paint carpeting. You know, maybe a little bit nicer light. Now I'm entering the master bathroom. <clears throat> this vanity is pretty rough, as is the counter faucets. I'll probably replace all this. Get rid of the blinds and paint, do any patching, paint. All the ledges need painting. Here's another one with a hole in the screen right here. Place the toilet. You know, new accessories in all the bathrooms. This one's missing its bar. Hanging light. Tub isn't too bad, it'd probably clean up. You know, a lot of these are brass, which isn't really fashionable right now. And then we have the <clears throat> the shower, which is one of the uh, most discolored ones I've ever seen in all my years doing this. I don't think this will clean up. We probably need to tear it out and replace it. And then, you know, because it's tiled also, just replace all that. divot in the floor. I would do LPV in all the tiled areas and then carpet in the carpet areas. The vents I would put new covers on, including like the, <coughs> the bath. You know, the moisture vents. Okay. Heading down the highway. Here's the second floor hall bath. Faucets work, but it really needs, you know, the, the drawers busted. Really needs, I can put in new vanities with new tops. You yeah, rust along the bottom of the uh, medicine cabinet mirror. Put a new cover on that. Replace the toilets. New accessory kit. Tub might be able to get it to clean up where it's passable. New shower head. Again, replace with Pergo. New accessory kit. By the way, I'm, I'm going to go back to the master bath. I don't think I turned the water on in there. I flushed the toilet.
Okay. Okay, now I'm in bedroom number two. I'm gonna do a pan of it. Okay, got some tears in the drywall paper <clears throat> to fix on opposite walls. Paint the ledges. You know, these tracks all need, need a lot of cleaning. Carpet shot. This is okay. You know, we have to make a decision on changing out the hardware on the doors. It's it's not really and actually we have kind of a mishmash here. You, know, you have the nickel with the brass. They should, you know, it really should all be the same. Here's a detector. By the way, this one and the one next door, the only two with detectors, the only two rooms or hallways in the house that have detectors, the rest are all missing. Um, your field service should put those in. Or we can do it during rehab. Pan of bedroom number three. More holes to fill. Another dirty window track. Replace the carpet paint. But I, I would recommend throughout we replace all the covers. The outlets themselves, you can see how they, they put newer cover on it, but the outlets are yellow. Just replace the outlets, the switches, and, and their covers. If we rehab, it'll look a lot cleaner, a lot nicer. <clears throat> Here's the closet. The closets all have these pull lights. They all work. And this is probably the best carpet in the house and it needs to be replaced. And that's the end of the tour. Thank you.